everyone. It is Wednesday, November 6, 2024. I'm Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, Seamus McJohnson, good friend of the channel, writes in, Doug, since you're often mistaken for Ryan Seacrest, you know I am. Also mistaken uh, often for Tom Selleck and Fabio. Uh, but yes, all these three. I can't go, I can't walk to the grocery store without being accused of being Ryan Seacrest. Anyhow, uh, why not start with clone? Oh, I like that clone. Are we implying that Ryan Seacrest is a clone? Uh, it could be a clone of me. Anyhow, let's, all right. Let's go with clone. Uh, how do we get how do we get started here with clone? Okay. In L out of position. A good start. Anytime we light anything up on the board on the first guess, that is in fact a good start by my uh, uh, my calculations. Um, where do we want to go next? Potentially with the letter L in tow. Um, hmm. Something very common letter heavy uh perhaps featuring the letter l now i a lot of these words i think of immediately have the l in the second spot so that's that makes it a little bit tricky here um how about no laser won't work because we tested the e um laser doesn't work because we tested the e um Maybe laugh. Um, no, like get me. That will get me two other uh, common vowels looked at of the three a u and i. So you know what? We've been having some chuckles here. So let's keep the mirth being made. Let's try the word laugh. It could be the answer. Uh, is it the greatest medicine? Is the answer to today's puzzle the word laugh? No, it's not. But we do have a U has joined the party and in position to boot. Uh, so we also have the benefit of knowing the L has to be in either the fourth or the fifth spot. I don't think it's going to be in both. No, I don't think it's been both. Um, I feel like I like the L in the fourth spot. So let's just do a placeholder here uh, and see what that opens up for us. Now, you know what the first thing that came to mind when I looked at this visualization? And it is timely in terms of putting some quality consonants on the board. Because I've got a funny feeling that we are looking at a situation where it's just that one vowel, U. I'm not going to put any effort into looking for an I. So that would mean two consonants before, two consonants after. So what fits here for me is the word truly, really and truly. Uh, so we'll get to evaluate T and R um, and a letter Y as well. I don't think you can go wrong with this guess. Um, seems strategically sound. So let's see if it's the answer. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word truly? Yes, it is. Really and truly, uh, yes, just, you know, basic uh, talking it through uh, carried the day on this one, but a fantastic puzzle nonetheless. Seamus, thank you so much uh, for your f words of flattery. Uh, they will get you everywhere on every day. <laughs> just uh, there you go. Um, but of course, flattery notwithstanding, we do appreciate your starting words. So keep them coming in the comments. Let us know how you did on today's puzzle. As always, if you enjoy content creators that look like famous celebrities, uh, I'm 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 your guy, so please click the subscribe button that you'll know that you'll be subscribed to someone that could be mistaken for Ryan Seacrest. On that note, uh, tomorrow is Thursday, and uh, we are going to get uh, a little bit more low-key, a little bit more shy, maybe mousy, because we're going to try the word mouse. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.